They've speeded up travel between here and Australia. Customs use of e-passports and SmartGate are the result of government embracing our age of high tech. And across the board, the government setting itself a target of getting 70% of its transactions with the public done electronically within the next four years. Put your glasses off, ma'am, and look straight ahead at that white screen in front of you. Oh, it's very efficient, quick, saves a lot of time. Oh, it's absolutely fantastic. There's no lineups, and it wasn't hard to put the ticket in or just uh, look forward and have your photo taken, and then you're through the gates. <laughs> the opportunity to go online to do business with government is now being offered to job seekers such as Chris Russell. Well, I found out this morning that my tax fees could be a little bit assorted, just insofar as, you know, I've got a student loan that's hanging over and um, a little bit of child support that they, they, they said they'll help me reorganise. Chris is lucky he lives in Christchurch and he can come to this building and conduct his business with government online. And in the future, most of us won't even have to come to a building. We'll simply stay at home and conduct our affairs with the state on a computer. Donna Paranihi Kane of Inland Revenue is one of several staff who guides clients to the new self-service workstations. Chris can still do his business face to face if he wants to, but he now has the choice of doing it online. So that's going to tell us, so this is for that period, so the last financial year. The first time I walked in here, you know, I was greeted at the door by this young lady and it was a huge smile I, and she said, you know, and, and reached out for my papers and I, was, I thought, where am I? Am I in the right place, you know, and uh, she, she was just wonderful. Uh, uh, all the customer services are very good. Like This pilot program is all about making it easier for the public to do business with government and privacy and security are uppermost in mind. Okay, so yeah. you're a salary and wage earner. Yeah, yeah, salary. Okay. You can see there that yeah, you've actually had two jobs. The customer came in because he received a personal tax summary. He was looking to claim a refund. So uh, when he comes in, he would normally have gone up to our general inquiries podium, but one of our customer service people introduced him to the self service. Do you know that you're using the correct tax codes there as well? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. In the old days, he probably would have gone through the contact centre. He may have waited an extended period of time to get through to someone. Um, this is so much quicker. He had his details, he could log in, confirm all his details, confirm his bank account, make sure he understood exactly what was going on. Um, he may have needed some help with somebody else but at the end of the day he got his refund and he was happy with that. And this new Christchurch office is unique in another important way. It enables the public to deal with several agencies at a time under the one roof. Yeah, it's fantastic. I mean, the customers are, I've had really, really positive feedback. They'll come and see us and then it turns out they actually need to go and see Ministry of Social Development or another agency. They can just pop into the next queue and they don't have to drive across town or have multiple appointments at different venues. They can get it all done in the one place. When the earthquakes hit, we lost, um, Working Income lost a few buildings and Inland Revenue lost buildings as well. All the departments that are here all lost their homes, more or less. So the opportunity arose to um, try, if you like, um, integrating with other departments. So hence the um, purpose-built building and um, away we go. Go to find a job there again. Yes. Christchurch is a leading example of how government services are being transformed to meet the needs of clients in the modern age. So moving away from uh, a lot of the sort of paper-based, manual, disconnected kind of um, interactions that they have with government. And that's from everything like uh, renewing your passport to booking a dock hut, or paying your taxes. How do we actually make that simple and straightforward for you, but doing that using, you know, 21st century technology. Welcome to New World Self-Checkout. Please scan and bag your item. More and more we're using these smart technologies in our everyday life. Might not go right the first few times, but then we get the hang of it. And our government wants us to do the same. That will be the choice and the preferred way for a number of transactions where you could actually do them for yourself. And why would you choose to do them any other way? 
So how well is the system working? I set out to test it by applying for a new passport. Has your most recent passport been cancelled? No. The Internal Affairs website led me through the process. We need to make services from government as easy as the services we get from anywhere in the economy, whether it's a private sector organisation or an NGO, and to do that using the internet. That whole process took about 25 minutes, and that included me getting a real me identity. So it was pretty easy, really. I had a couple of missteps, but I soon sorted it out. It was pretty easy to use. Your experience um, of dealing with government online could be as simple as and straightforward as the way you use Facebook or listen to songs on Spotify or search for things on Google. We really want to try and aim at it everyday people who are having to deal with government in everyday situations. I was told my new passport would arrive in the post within 10 days. So here it is, my new passport. And that's taken five days to get to me. That's, that's pretty good. So you specifically came here to look at your student loan and mm -hmm. maybe look at a... One of the program. best places to find out how well things are going, how well the public is taking to the system, is the Christchurch office. Um, can we just check your uh, user ID? Well, I'm quite an online person. And yeah, I tend to try and do everything online if I can. If I know how to do it and it's easy and you know you've got everything you need to do, it's fine. But then like it was that hurdle where I didn't know my username so I couldn't access all my information. So that's when I came in here. And yeah, so it's good. Do you have your IRD number there? We have customers coming in, even though they've already registered from home, wanting a bit of guidance and reassurance they're doing it correctly. So we provide that education in the hope that they don't actually need to come back to the office. They can actually serve themselves at home. Just, just while we're here, you know you can go to all these ones. These are other places that you can go and search for jobs. So you don't necessarily have to go to the work and income site. You can just use this one, um, which is just as easy. So go to find a job there again. The work that IID have done with their website and actually relating to people as people and actually saying we're here to help you pay your tax and the similar approach I've seen here with um, income support and actually getting people into jobs is a good move. These are the email addresses, the telephone numbers, you can contact them directly. It's about making government more accessible from wherever we are and changing the way ministries work. Well, it really focuses effort across a large number of agencies to work together on a joint outcome. And for me that you know, really exemplifies what Better Public Services is about, is focusing on the New Zealander, on the customer. The Christchurch experiment is one of many approaches the government's taking to getting us thinking online when it comes to interacting with the state. Doing it digitally at a time of day that suits us is a win-win. Less pressure on public servants, and faster, cheaper and easier for us all.